So just start by breathing in and out, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and just breathing in and out. We'll do a couple breaths here for a few minutes. Keep breathing in and out. If you want, you can close your eyes. Keep breathing. Just let your body relax. Let your muscles relax. Kind of getting rid of all of the tension from the day. Keep breathing in and out. Breathing. Great job. And so today we're going to do a little movement. Sorry, y'all. Keep on breathing. We're going to move around doing some movement today. So we're going to be standing here shortly. So take your hands, arms up, breathe in. Hands come down into prayer and breathe out. Breathe in one more time and breathe out. Now we're gonna start by going to tabletop. So if you wanna come to your hands and knees, now if you're using the chair, which is also perfectly fine, you're gonna place your hands on the seat of the chair, pushing out in the shoulders, right? So don't sink down into your shoulders, push out. Hold the abs in. Right, so don't do your back like this, but just hold them in and just breathe in and out. Taking deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and as you breathe out, pull those abs in. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time, breathe in through the nose out through the mouth. Now we're gonna do a couple cat cows here. So we're starting cat. So we're gonna hunch up like a cat, blow the air out, tighten the abs. So here we go, breathe in. Now breathe out as you hunch up. Breathe in and go to cow. Now breathe out and go to cat. Breathe in, cow and breathe out cat. One more each. And breathe out. Now, we're gonna take one foot, I'm gonna take my right foot, maybe your left, and put it between your hands and you're gonna to come to a low lunge. So in the low lunge position, you wanna make sure your knee and ankle are aligned. And you can stay up like this, hands can be up if you want them to be. Breathing in and out through the nose. Hands can stay down. Or you can use your blocks if you have them, or books. Always make sure your knee does not go over the ankle. And you may feel a stretch right here or sensation in your hip or groin area. Breathing in and out. One more deep breath in. And breathe out. Hands come down. Step that leg back. Step the other one forward. My left, possibly your right. And then you want to sink down into that right hip or left hip, depending on which leg you're using. Hands can be in the air, if that works best for you, or hands can be on the floor or on your blocks. Again, making sure your knee does not go over the ankle. So if this is too much for you, you can always sit up some just like this. And there is a way to do this on the chair. You just have one leg on the chair, the other one is 
behind. Breathing in and out. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Hands come to the floor and then step that back, that leg back. Take the opposite leg, step it forward, and we'll do a high lunge this time. So come to your toes in the back, come up, just like this. Make any adjustments, maybe you move your foot in some, and then come up. Now, if that's too hard for you to do, hard to balance, you can come up, maybe place one leg, one hand on the knee, and then place the other one on the knee and come up that way. The knee should still be aligned with the ankle. If you want, you could bend the back knee some, but you're here and that front knee is not over the ankle. You can hold on to your chair for balance or the wall. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Hands come down, come back down to that knee, flatten that toe in the back, and then step that foot back. Other foot comes forward, right? So my left, you can move it there however you need to. You can come on to the back toe, come up to a lunge, and now come up best way you can. Breathing in and out, making sure the hips are facing forward. Breathe in and out. One more deep breath in. And now breathe out. Hands come down. You can go back onto that knee. Back to tabletop. We're going to take three breaths here. Breathe in and out. One more breath in and out. Now, we're gonna to go to downward dog. Toes on the floor, hips go up to the ceiling, and elbows rotate more towards the back. Breathing in and out. We're gonna do two breaths here. Now, I want you to take your right or left leg, pull it up, go up to the ceiling. Hips just stay down facing towards the floor. Don't turn your hips. So you don't have to lift it high. One more breath in, breathe out, and take that foot, step it between your hands. Take that back foot, place the heel on the floor. You can take it out some if you need to, and then come up right here into warrior one. Now, there's different ways to do this. I have my foot in the back out to the side to open up the hips a little bit more, right? Make, make it easier. If you want, you can move it back more of an alignment, the toes in the back should be facing the corner of the mat. Front knee should not be past the ankle. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Hands come down. We're gonna step back. So back foot turns, step it back into that plank or on your knees and then come up into downward dog. Two breaths here. Raise the other foot up as high as you can. Maybe you can only go right here, that's fine. Or up higher. Just make sure your hips do not turn. One more breath in. Now, step it through as you breathe out. Knee does not go over the ankle, back foot turns. Maybe you step it out to the side. And your front, sorry, the back toe should be facing the corner of the mat. If you need to, like my feet are sweating, so I'm gonna come up just a little to get a little bit more grip on the mat. Breathing in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Hands come down and you can step back, go up to your downward dog. Rotate those shoulders back, or elbows back, excuse me. And then we're gonna walk it up to our hands or one big step, go to halfway fold. We're gonna take three breaths here. Breathe in and out. One more deep breath in and breathe out. Four fold all the way down, looking at the knees. 
Breathing in and out. One more breath in and out. Now, come up. Hands touch at the top and breathe out. Hands go up and breathe out. One more time. Hands up and breathe out. Great job, everyone. So we're gonna go through Nishtanga. So hands come down. Step your feet back. We're gonna come down. You can go to your knees, come down. You're gonna do a chaturanga, come up to upward dog. Breathing in and out. Now you can be low here. One more deep breath in and out. Now you can come to your knees and then go to downward dog. Step your right foot or left foot through and come up. Woo. High lunge. Breathe in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Now we're gonna go to warrior three. Now this may be a little difficult. You can use a chair or use a wall. Take that back foot and step it up. And now you're gonna lean. Now maybe this is as far as you can go into your warrior three. Hips are facing forward. Or you can go down a little bit further in your warrior three. And take some balance. Again, maybe you hold on to the wall for balance or a chair or you just don't go as far forward. One more deep breath in and out. Now take that back foot, step it back, go into that high lunge. Breathing in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Come down, breathe in, breathe out, come down. Step that back foot back and then come down. Maybe go to your knees first and then come down and do a chaturanga and then come up to your upper dog. Here, maybe you're down here, perfectly fine. One more deep breath in and out. Change your toes, come up and then go back into downward dog. Again, you can go to your knees into that plank, rotate those elbows back, Left foot, or maybe your right, goes forward. Knees should be aligned. Now come up any way you want into a high lunge. You can use your chair and hold the back of your chair. Breathing in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Now, you can lean forward. You can step up as many times as you want or just take one step and then go into Warrior three. Again, your warrior three can be here, which is perfectly okay. Or maybe your warrior three, your toe is touching the floor. Right? Or you're all the way down into warrior three. Back is flat. Take some balance. You can hold on to something. One more deep breath in and breathe out. Take that foot back. Breathe in and out. One more breath in and breathe it out. Hands come down and step back. Come down to the floor and then come up to your upward dog. Breathing in and out. One more breath in. Now breathe out. Come to plank right here or on your knees is fine. Don't go to downward dog, on your knees is fine. And take your right foot Move it through, come up, take the other foot, so you're either here or here, and then take your foot and move it up, maybe you're here, and come up to your other foot. Head is down, forward fold. One more deep breath in, and breathe it out. Come up to a halfway fold. 
hands on shins or on thighs, or just dangling down, looking at the floor. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. And now come up. Hands come down into prayer. Great job, everyone. Now I'm gonna face you. We're gonna sit on the floor and do a couple of yoga poses on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna lay on our back. We're gonna do a couple bridges here. So bring your heels as close to your butt as you can. And then lift the hips up toward the ceiling. Three breaths here. You will feel a tightening in the lower back. You should be able to tighten your glutes or your butt, thighs, or hamstrings. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Now slowly roll down vertebrae, thigh vertebrae. We'll do these three times. Up, breathe in, breathe out, three times. One more deep breath in and out and come down vertebrae by vertebrae as you breathe out. Breathe in, come up and breathe out three times. Relaxing the muscles, the shoulders. One more deep breath in. Now slowly breathe out and roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Take one leg, I'm gonna take my right, I'm gonna cross it over, ankle is going to be on my left leg. I'm gonna pull through here and breathe in and out. Now, if you can't pull from the knee, from under the knee, you can place it on top. Or maybe you can't pull at all, maybe you come down to the thigh and pull in from that area. If you still can't pull in, don't worry. Maybe you come on top of your leg and pull it in closer. Whatever works best for you. Breathing in and out here. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Place that foot on the floor. Other leg goes on the floor, we're gonna switch. Bring this next leg up, breathe in and out. Now you may feel a stretch in the glute or the hamstrings, possibly the hip. If you want, you can rock side to side. This is a like laying figure four, so rock side to side if you want it to. Breathing in and out. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Foot comes down to the floor, other foot comes down. Switch again, leg goes up, foot comes over, pull in that knee towards you, right? Feeling a stretch in the hip or the hamstrings or in the glute or butt area, breathing in and out. If you have a belt or a tie or a yoga strap, you can always use those to pull your legs closer to you. Maybe you put the strap under here or your belt or tie or on your shin, not on your knee, but on your shin and pull it closer to you. Breathing in and out. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Foot comes down, take the opposite leg, place it on the floor, cross it back over again. Opposite leg, my left, is on my right, maybe your right is on your left, and pull it in towards you, breathing in and out, feeling the sensation, right? You should not feel pain. If you feel pain, you want to come out and just relax and lay down. Continue to breathe in and out. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Foot comes back down to the floor. Other foot comes down. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna do a happy baby. So feet are gonna come up, up to the sky or up to the ceiling. Feet should be flat, legs open and grab the bottom of your feet like babies do. Now if you can't do this, 
Maybe you grab behind the knee or the thighs, right? Feet still are up towards the ceiling, so toes curl back down towards the floor. And if you want, you can rock with it. So the allowed gravity is going to pull those knees down towards the floor when you relax your arms. You may feel a stretch that is in the hip area. You can come out anytime you want, right? There should be no pain, but you may feel a stress or sensation. Really helping with the hips. Deep, one more deep breath in and breathe out. Now, bring those legs together and feet come to the floor. Now we're gonna sit up so you can do your legs straight or just sit up the best way you can. Legs are straight. We're gonna sit up right here in Dandasana. Hands can be right next to you. And this pose can be difficult for some people. So you may bend your knees a little, especially if you feel too much sensation in the back of the thigh. See how my chest is up, my chest is up, my back is flat, shoulders are, excuse me, shoulders are back. Toes are up towards the ceiling. Breathing in and out. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Now I'm gonna face you guys. I'm gonna sit with my feet together. Now some of you, your, your knees may be up here. You just have tight hips and that's fine. And some of you, your knees may be a lot closer to the floor than mine. We're just gonna breathe in here, arms up and then lean forward. You can cross the arms, you can place the blocks, you can place your elbows on your knees and you can, if you can't go down deep, don't worry, just go as far as you can. You should feel a sensation or a stretch, the inner uh, hip area or inner thighs, breathing in and out. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. And now sit up. Now let's take our legs and let's cross them and do the same thing. Get comfortable, breathe in, and lean forward and breathe out. And it's down, go down as deep as you can, right? Always remember there's no judgment in yoga, right? You should not judge yourself. Don't compare yourself to me or to anybody else in a yoga class. You just do the best that you can and fold it as long as you can. One more deep breath in. And now breathe out. Now you can roll up. Place those feet together again. We'll do it one more time. Hands come up. Breathe in and lean as far forward as you can. Head is down. Breathing in and out. Great job, everyone. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Now you can roll up or just come straight up, crossing the legs again. Just cross them as whatever works best for you. Some might have their feet on their legs. Breathe in, arms up, breathe out and lean forward. Taking those deep breaths in and out. Feeling a stretch possibly in the hips or hamstrings or back. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Roll up or come straight up, it's up to you. Now sit with both legs forward. Take one leg, I'm gonna take my right, maybe your left if you're mirroring me, and I'm gonna cross it over. I'm gonna take one hand, I'm gonna place it behind me. So the other hand comes up into the ceiling and I'm gonna twist the opposite way. Same way my arm is, twisting towards the inside of my thigh, breathing in and out. Now you can take your hand and maybe just 
twist your use your hand to twist and then twist as far as you can. One more deep breath in and breathe it out. Now let's face the center, foot comes back down, pick up the other one, place it next to your leg, opposite hand goes behind, same arm as the straight leg goes up and you can turn. So the, the joint of the elbow is not on the knee, right? So I have my knee is right above the elbow, elbow joint going more towards the shoulder. Now maybe yours is under the elbow joint going more towards the wrist or you're using your hand. Breathing in and out. One more deep breath in and now breathe out. Coming back to the center. And now we're gonna go right into our meditation. You can sit any way you would like, or you can lay down in what's called Savasana. Um, if you want, you can also lay down in, um, in Sphinx pose, which is right on your elbows like this, or you can just lay like this on your belly. So this is a perfect time now where you can close your eyes or keep them open. Take those deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, relaxing your shoulders, calming the nervous system, breathing in and out. Now, this is a perfect time for us to be grateful and thankful. Think about the things you're grateful and thankful for. There may be things that we have uh, that others don't, and so we should be grateful and thankful for those things. Breathing in and out. Great time for us to show ourselves self-love. And you guys will hear me say this all the time because I'm not just talking to you, but I'm talking to myself. There may be some of us that grew up not loving our own selves just from the way that people spoke into our own lives. And so this is a great opportunity for you to start to realize how much you do love yourself. If you can tell everyone in the world, your mom, your dad, your siblings, your parents, your grandparents, even your pets, that you love them, then it is a great opportunity now to tell yourself how much you love yourself and even why. Maybe you love the perseverance that you have. Maybe you love your consistency. Maybe you love that you don't give up. Maybe you love that when you fall down, you get back up. Maybe you love your eyes and your nose and those things that you do not like about yourself, begin to tell yourself how much you love yourself and love those areas of yourself, right? Continue to breathe in and out. It's a great time for those that want to pray. You can pray at this time. Or maybe you just lay or sit in silence. And when you do that, the mind may begin to wonder or a lot of chitter chatter comes to the mind. If that does happen, come back to your breathing. And maybe you then begin to talk about or say things that are that you can say to yourself. Continue to breathe in and out.
All right, you guys. So that is it for our 30 minute lunch break. So we're going to always, I always close out with an amen. You don't have to, if you don't want, or you can close out with namaste. So I'm going to take my arms up, breathe in and breathe out and say amen. So thank you guys for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed that 30 minute lunch uh, yoga session today. And I will see everybody in the next yoga session. Bye everybody. Keep pushing on. Things are gonna get better.